Meghan Markle and Prince Harry left behind their positions as senior working royals to pursue a financially free and independent life in the U.S. Read more read more related articles Meghan Markle and Prince Harry originally moved to Canada, where they were rumored to be moving to for good at the beginning of the year. However, in the end, they opted to start their new life in California, where Meghan was born and brought up as a child. The couple has since bought their own property in the affluent, a list neighborhood of Montecito, Santa Barbara. While Meghan and Harry left, there have still been hopes among their fans of possibly returning to royal life in the future. But one expert has dashed all hopes of this happening, saying some of their relationships are beyond repair. Writing in the Mirror, royal expert Penny Juna said over the past few months, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have burned some significant bridges that may be beyond repair. Ms. Juna wrote, right now, that doesn't seem to bother them. And I can't see Meghan ever wanting a way back. Since leaving the royal family on March 31, 2020, Meghan and Harry seem to be thriving in their new lives. Ms. Juna said during Meghan's brief spell as a working royal awoke her to the realties of being a princess. While the royal family is an excellent platform for charity work, Ms. Juna said it was not the springboard for changing the world, however burning and evident the need. She explained, both as a woman and as a woman of color, she sees the need for change all around. Her and is clearly passionate about standing up and being counted and I wish her well in that. However, I don't believe that Harry has the same ambition. The royal expert explained Prince Harry is not a political animal, and his ambitions lie elsewhere. She explained, his passion is, or certainly was, for helping people who were disadvantaged in one way or another, especially children. Author of Royally Suited, Harry and Meghan in their own words. Phil Dampier said Meghan and Harry's very open opinions about politics could be foreshadowing the future. Mr. Dampier explained, I believe she will increasingly get involved in politics and may one day try and run for the presidency. I don't think the Queen, Prince Charles, William and the royal courtiers will be happy about this. But, there is little they can do and increasingly, Meghan and Harry seem determined to burn bridges. The couple has come under fire in recent months for their involvement in politics in the upcoming U.S. election traditionally a big no, no for the royal family. A new biography entitled Battle of Brothers, William and Harry, the inside story of a family in tumult explosively claimed Meghan clashed with Prince William over her promotion of woke causes. In an extract from the book, author Robert Lacey said the issue came to a head when Meghan Guest edited the September issue of British Vogue, promoting 15 trailblazing female change makers. Mr. Lacey wrote, William did not see his future role as monarch, nor his current role as heir, as a matter of him working to maintain the nation's feelings in harmony, while his activist brother and his wife jumped up and down beside him cultivating political and cultural divisions in pursuit of their trendy version of doing good. Mr. Lacey went on to add, the Windsors do not do woke. 